What's up, YouTube? Uh, today we're going to be doing some defense. Got a couple of requests in, people asking uh, how you defend against a good team, uh, an aggressive team. Some, uh, you know, there's a couple of people asking, especially about the aggressive team. Uh, this this actually uh, can be very difficult. <laughs> These guys we're playing here were, were super aggressive. They were moving up fast, and Khao Sun Temple is not the easiest map to defend on, uh, especially yeah, until you get to the third base, and then you can lock it down fairly easy. But the first two bases can be kind of challenging to defend against if you're playing some aggressive teams, or they they have some a couple different squads that are working together. And this team definitely had a couple of squads that were were working well together, and really they were pushing us. They were pushing us back, and. There's a few times I, I, I really, I was getting frustrated because our team was just not holding these guys back. They really blow through us on this front base despite our best efforts on uh, getting them out. So, uh, I'm, right now I'm running uh, PPSH with uh, the, the backup RPG and uh, Magnum ammo on. Of course, I stick Magnum on all my guns. You can hate all you want, but people use body armor. It's the only thing that counters it. Uh, and in hardcore, it drops people super quick, and that's really the whole reason I use it. So, as you can see, they already made it into our base. Uh, you know, one thing I'm going to point out, probably more than once in this video, is is don't be afraid to change tactics. Don't be afraid to change classes, and um, shake things up a bit. You know, I, I get a couple of couple of good kills here. Find the guys and. You know, I get in here, I shoot three people, I disarm the thing. The rest of our team is MIA, uh, except for my squad. Kill another guy, and then they come in and kill me. I, you know, it's it's like you get kind of frustrated when you're playing against a team that's aggressive because they're always in your spawn. And um, that's good. That's how they should be playing. That's how a good rush players, group of players who are playing together, should be attacking. And they're doing this much better than my team is. So... Like I said, don't be afraid to change up tactics. I never run up the gut here, but since they had kept coming up the right, I wanted to see if I could catch them off guard, which uh, was not the case because now they came up the left. Um, the, you know, the only real way to counter a group of of people that are this aggressive is to push them back and harass them in their own base. And then it's it's really a risky venture because if they get past you, they're going to take your crates, and that's that. But if you can push them up, it throws them off balance, it throws their rhythm off, and and they get they get frustrated, and they will typically players that are that aggressive will will not leave their spawn until they clear everybody out of there and they stop getting shot in the back because it annoys them. And and I know that because I am one. So <laughs> you know it's. It's it's a it's a good tactic to play against people, and at this point in time in the game, you know you're not going to run into a whole lot of. Um, and there's been a lot more noobs lately, but you're not going to run into a lot of noobs. You're going to run into seasoned players and guys that know what they're doing, and they they know how to attack. They know how to work as a team if they're in a squad. And I'm just going to stop here and say that this part, I got really confused uh, because I ran into so many people, I didn't know who to shoot. And unfortunately, they turned around or I'd have an epic spray down video, but alas, I only got three of them. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I was overwhelmed. It was like getting all your Christmas presents for the first 12 years of your life all at once. <laughs> you know, how, how do you deal with that? So, anyways, um, who knew that huddling in a large group of people would, would be a legitimate tactic as I get stuck on a sandbag there? Um... So, anyways, you got you got to be aggressive back at them. You got to push them out of your base and push them back towards their own, which which I mean really goes as as a general rule in rush defense, period. But against an, a, a team as aggressive as this is, it's especially important that you do that, or you'll just end up you'll end up getting run through in like five minutes. They'll take your whole team out, and, that, and it's just just the nature of the player. So, as you can see. We have a couple people hanging back, or one person usually hanging back, and we're rotating, kind of going up there and, and stirring it up inside their base. As you can see, some of the guys are starting to hang back um, and, and not be as aggressive because they're annoyed that people are in their base, which is good. Um, 
But once you take off and you go in their base, always be mindful um, when you die or whatever that you have people in your own base, you know, that, that may need help too. So a, a good rule if you're if you're playing in a squad is to to really watch what your squad mates are doing. You should scroll through each squad mate and see what's a good spot to spawn. Or I'm sure if you're playing in a squad, hopefully they have mics or you're playing in a party with people with mics. And these guys are telling you somewhat what they're doing or, or where they're at or where they're to spawn on them. It's and where especially where the enemy is attacking. You know, communication within a squad is, is really important. If you have one squad communicating, you can really just rack down the whole team. And uh, I like to point out, I didn't revive that guy there because it would have been a Rambo revive in front of a bunch of people down there. Um, I've gotten a lot of crap in the past from people saying, oh, you don't revive anybody and blah, 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 blah. But they don't look at what's going on. And obviously, since you guys are watching the whole video here, you know exactly uh, where I'm at and what I'm doing. And it's not part of a montage where people constantly complain. And what is that, too? Why, why complain about someone not reviving in a montage? That's like the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, you don't, you don't revive in your montage. I had a cool montage of me reviving people. It's so sweet. And the support montage of the century. <laughs> Dumb. Anyways, um, you know, now you can see that this team is kind of, uh, they're not being nearly as aggressive as they were as my teammate shoots me right there when I'm giving them health. Um, and that's, that's basically because we've been in their spawn and harassing them, going over on the other side. We're posted up over there causing problems and it just it throws off their their rhythm their tactic a lot of people will get frustrated and just start sniping rather than uh, rather than take bullets and for some reason I tried to revive an enemy there uh, right here is another thing that was kind of interesting I saw a grenade come out of the river at me so I just threw one back and got a kill so random and then my controller went wonky um, so you know, keep you gotta you gotta keep up the uh, the assault the whole time, and I, I like to look at defending as attacking too, uh, but you have to do it smart. You can't just have your entire squad run around their base, and if they're an a, not an aggressive team, there's no point to be in their base. You know, pull out a sniper rifle and do your thing. Uh, oh, another thing here too, when we when, when I play with the squad together. And especially like uh, Nathan just got shot there right in front of me. I always ask or tell them, "Hey, I'm getting you up," and or they'll say no. And it really because they they've been playing long enough to know that there's they can use the spawn shield to their advantage or they can't. Uh, if they can get up and they know they have a half second to kill somebody, sometimes it's better to Rambo revive somebody, and uh, they'll just get up and they'll kill the guy before he can get enough bullets downstream to kill him again. You know, it's exploiting, exploiting one of the one of the kind of annoying things that that Battlefield has, and that's the uh, spawn shield. So we end up winning this one, and and uh, just taking them out. One, of course, the screen doesn't show that, but we all know that's broken. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and if you are not already a subscriber, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks, guys.